Hello guys, I'm bringing a farming guide to you, and hopefully this will help you with farming. I wish I had a guide like this when I started farming. I really had to learn the whole skill myself, because no guides were really that simple. But all you need is what in my inventory, which is five super composts, five maple saplings, five pineapple saplings, a spade, rake, ring of dueling of any charge. 50 watermelons, a magic log, witch doctor mass, hardy cloak, and a camelot teleport. I ch checked uh, health on a lot of my trees, and you can either pay 200 uh, coins to have it chopped down, which is perfectly fine, but I like the woodcutting experience as I am 138k at a 90 woodcutting. But I'll pause recording when this is chopped down, I'll come back. All right, once the tree has been cut down, use a spade on it. And then I use super compost, and then I use a maple sapling. There we go. See, it might not be very much experience, but the checking gives it a really good experience. And if you can't tell, this is behind Lumbridge. I don't usually pay the way for normal trees. Well, any trees because I the chance of a tree dying is 1 in 8 and I don't really consider that a huge loss because maple seeds aren't that much I'm just picking up some coins so I can pay so I can speed this up a little bit but yeah I'm be, I'll be showing you the five locations in this video that skillers can go and the five locations for fruit trees that skillers can go that's currently one from being max the other uh, exception is um, the Trollheim one and the extra bonus one in Isifdar that I don't know much, much people use but yep I don't pay see this is Camelot and then you want to go to Falador there's a tree right to the east of the teleport spot in Falador Park Let's see check health there we go so it gives a nice, good experience. It's a super compost. Maple sapling. There we go. Off to the second to last tree. There's, if you're, this is a skiller ways of doing it. Um, there's obviously alternate ways, like you can use the trees to travel to the gnome village, or you can use a grand seed pod, but those are very expensive. They do give you a hundred farming experience when launched, but for 12k that's pretty steep. I try to keep it cheap, so I just have unlocked the balloon system, which um, makes getting to the Trinome Village, the charge of the magic log for a balloon ride there, which is not that much in comparison. And this is over in Taberly, and our last teleport will be with the Ring of Dueling to Castle Wars. And that will be to the Trinome Village which you can do as a skiller once you have completed Enlightened Journey, which is not too hard of a quest. It takes probably a good 10 minutes and then maybe a half an hour to unlock all of the routes. Here I'm going to mix it up a little bit, not too bad, but I'm going to start my fruit trees here, and which is pineapples. And then I want to chop down, clear, and then I want to use my last super compost here and plant a pineapple sapling. And you also need to find the dwarf or the um, gnomes around here and pay them watermelons 
because these die a lot. And oops, sorry. Misclick. Sorry about that. And I have a marker on my map. How annoying. I'll get that off. Alright, sorry about that. Um, you're going to want to bank here. You're going to want to grab, grab an extra couple of composts. Bank your coins. And get five composts. And then you want to run down here and plant your last tree. Last maple tree. Right here. I'll be back to recording once I cut it. Alright, once it's been cut down, clear. I'd like to use my last super compost on it as it's a tree and I just want to give it that extra chance of living. And then after this, you're going to want to go to Camelot. Alright, here we go. Here's the third spot. See, it gives a fair decent amount of experience. These do take a very long time to grow, but these are more of a once to twice a day. They're not really the main way you should be training farming, but it is a very good way to add to the way you're farming. Um, gives you a good 20-ish K experience per day doing it this way just per check and that's if you do it just once or twice and the second to last would be the Herblore Habitat oh and I forgot to tell you the leprechaun will note your pineapples just like anything else you essentially use on him Clear dig up super compost use your sapling and then pay bush no that would be tree patch give me 10 more ones okay it's a deal actually I know I've forgotten Camelot so if you want to go back there now and pay but if you're not Go back to, or use your Ardian teleport and teleport to the monastery. And run over, like I'm showing you. right over here. And if you're following my video and kept up, I'm going to go back to Camelot as I messed up and we need to go back there anyways and the guy so if you want to watch me do that then that's fine 
But we need to go back to Camelon. I messed up in my order a little bit. Sorry about that. And here would be the last spot in that you need around 2k coins. I just take that as a guess. But you need to take a boat ride. Pretty sure you guys don't want me to show you the run through to uh, pay again, but I'll be back to recording once I'm done to that, and I'll show you the way to the boat for now. All right, I'm paying it. Alright, I'm back, but as a good rule of thumb, you want to carry 50 watermelons with you, so if you forget a spot like I just did, which is a prime example, that you will know because you will have some left over. But yeah, you're going to want to take this boat down here. You're going to want to charter it. This is probably the fastest way you can get to it. You need to go to Brimhaven. Where are we cool. Okay. I always like to carry a little extra. The only danger to skillers here is the jungle spider, but they can be easily avoided and you don't really need food. See, there we go. You're quick enough, you should be done and out of here before that thing comes over here and tries to kill you. <laughs> Super compost. And your last pineapple sapling. Use that and pay cards. If you do get attacked by one of these, you can just leave, teleport, or just run out here. They're Basically, aggressiveness stops at about this point where the grass changes. But I just thought I'd give you a guide that was pretty simple and cut. And, um, I really wish I had a guide like this when I was starting out farming that was really simple. just told me what to plant, what to do, and where to go. But I hope you enjoyed this guide, and I'll have more guides up later. See ya.